What's up folks, welcome back to the garage. There is a dyno sheet on the hood already, but I don't let you know yet. <laughs> um, I just arrived from the, the dyno and I think I achieved my goal. Um, after the intro, I will show you what's uh, inside the Volvo, if, just in case, if you haven't watched my earlier videos. Uh, there's almost bone stock B20 engine with some uh, treats. Um, but I just wanted to, to know the level we are starting at the moment because I have a stronger engine already ready waiting for its turn. But next to the intro. I don't tell you the results yet. I remove the sheet. <laughs> I just let you wait for a while. Well, if you have watched my earlier videos, you know that uh, it's uh, almost a stock engine. Uh, the block and uh, pistons, uh, crankshaft, all stock. Uh, even the camshaft is stock. Uh, in the head, there's a slightly bigger uh, exhaust valves uh, and uh, I think uh, the machine shop took away a little bit from the from the head so it's a little bit lower so the uh, combustion ratio is a little bit higher but not much almost stock still uh, well the biggest change might be the uh, 245 Weber's and uh, pressure regulator the fuel pump is uh, stock, so nothing special there. Um, exhaust manifold is not a stock one, it flows a little bit better. The whole exhaust is uh, two inch, two inch pipe and only one sport muffler, so the flow is a little bit better. Uh, the flywheel, well, it doesn't give any more horsepower, but um, it might might change to the curve we get, <laughs> so it's a little bit lighter. And um, ignition, and uh, there's a so the ignition is Fireball XR3000 ignition, and uh, the coil is a Fireball performance coil so there's a little bit bigger or better spark I hope and the spark plug wires are a little bit better also so um, but I think that's the gearbox original I think that's that's all so nothing special here only small modification so next let's uh, Hit to the dyno.
The curves are like in a stock engine. This is horsepower going up and then a little after 5000 it's going down and the torque is quite even from 3500 until until uh, 4200 about so the torque goes like this and the horsepower goes like that and uh, maximum horsepower was achieved in almost 5000 and we hit 92 horsepower <laughs> wow uh, at 4847 rpm so 92 horsepower and uh, the maximum torque was little over 4000 so 152 newton meters in 4064 rpm well i didn't expect uh, more i think it uh, the result is just right the biggest change is the carburetors and i think they will give about 10 horsepower so that makes sense but i hope that uh, my new engine will give us a little bit different uh, dyno chart at least i hope my new engine is already ready uh, biggest differences with this in this engine uh, is uh, the camshaft this has a k cam which is uh, which should be much much better than the standard a cam which is in that engine and um, I have ported this head, especially the exhaust ports, the bump up there is gone, so there's only the guide and valve up there, and uh, I shine just a little bit the intake, val uh, intake ports, so I didn't take any material, almost any material out of the intake, only exhaust are little bit wider i was quite uh, careful not to take too much away and i lowered or they lowered the head in the machine shop so that the combustion ratio is about 10.1 if i'm correct 10 or 10.1 which should be quite okay for those carburetors those 45 webers so this is much much different engine than the, the original or this has just a little bit better uh, camshaft and the head the next phase is to rebuild that engine and i hope that it will give us a little more little bit more horsepower than even this <laughs> but time will tell yes i will file this to my archive the shelf so we can remember these memories after a long long time well the next plan is actually take out this engine i don't know when we will do it but we will actually do a live stream in my finnish channel hans in Tally. you can find the link from the channel's description if you want to watch that uh, just uh, subscribe my Finnish channel Hans in Tally. Well, the stream will be in Finnish, and uh, I will do a, a dubbed ver version to this channel. So don't worry if you don't want to watch that uh, live stream or you can't watch it from some reason. You can still uh, see the the video because I will do it also to this channel a little bit later. What else? Well, yeah, the, I have taken B20 engines off quite many times, but it has been a little bit... <laughs> uh, well, maybe five or six years ago. So there will be a lot of things to remember. 
I think I might have forgotten a lot of things, but it should be quite easy. We will take the grill off, lights off, and after we have removed the carburetors, there's a, a lot of space in that engine bay, so it will be quite it should be quite simple task, I hope. And the same time we can check the the gearbox mount because I think the rubber is gone. So it's uh, easy to check at the same time. But hey, thanks for watching. Please give me thumbs up and comments down below. That would be great. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, now is a perfect time to do that. And also ring the bell. Thanks for watching and see you soon.